So this is our darker purpose. Now, I have played this a tiny wincy little bit, but I have never really progressed too far as I am actually really bad at the game. But nevertheless, I think this game is kind of underrated. I never seen it anywhere really. I mean, no popular YouTubers really play it or anything of the sort. So I thought, hey, why not me, this random guy on the internet, go play it. I mean, that does sound like a great idea if you ask me. So let's start. Let me just move it. There we go, to move my monitor over slightly. So, let's start game. So, what is this game? Well, it is often depicted like Binding of Isaac. Binding of Isaac obviously being the king of all roguelikes currently. I mean, no one doesn't know of, well, Binding of Isaac. So, in The Darker Purpose, there's going to be a story to it. It's a, it's a lot different than Binding of Isaac, but yet it's a lot familiar to it. So, elderly Mr. M trusted his three students most. Regan was pretty, and all she did was she was told. Let me say that again. Elderly Mr. M trusted his three students the most. Regan was pretty, and all she did... Why does I say all she did? All did, and she told. There we go. Got it eventually. For they sought her favour. I'm going to say gonorrhea, or gonorrhea, was strong, and all she did, as she was told. For they feared her power. The third was Cordy. She was so shy that no one had ever heard her say a word. One day before Cordy's ninth birthday, Mr. M was summoned into the administrator's office. He left the free and control of the room. The charismatic child, or children, ran into Reagan. The athletic, up to... I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to say gonorrhea from the time being, since I have no idea how to pronounce it. And the remainder drifted to Cordy. Regan's followers cackled as they joked and danced. Corella, I'm going to say it for the time being, grunted as they sparred. The quiet one huddled closer in the corner. And Mr. L never came back. And Cordy saw Gonorrhea and Regan signaled each other. And all the beautiful and powerful children attacked the quiet ones. The bookcases were pulled down, the desks tossed about, and the quiet children killed. The victors poured out in the hallways and the teachers had vanished, and the school was theirs. Except for the hidden beneath the, uh, the bookcase, Cordy was alive, and she had discovered how to speak. What not story. It quickly ends and badly, I'm sure. So that is this game. So let's press enter, shall we? Right, so we are Cordy, this kind of gothic looking girl. I say she's gothic because she's wearing a black dress and obviously dyed hair. The only thing she's missing is some, well, um, emo makeup. So, as you can see, very, very similar to Binding of Isaac, except it looks a bit, um, Tim Burton-esque, if you ask me. So let's go down. So the whole point of this is, well, you need not to take damage. I believe there's a roll button, isn't there? Yes, there is. So the whole point is to be a very, very dodgy person. You need to be able to dodge everyone's attacks while being able to fling your fireballs of power. So as you can see, we're currently being attacked by a, well, a bunch of trash cans. The best way to get rid of trash cans is by firing them with giant balls of fire. Giant balls of fire is obviously the best way to remedy any situation. And this situation happens to be giant balls of paper being thrown in our direction. I don't know if there's children hiding in it and we're currently burning them alive, but either way that would be an interesting tale. It's a very slow game, I will say that now, it's definitely not fast paced, so if you're expecting a game where you're dashing across the screen like Ninja Gaiden, well as you can see, we're kind of in a very, very, well, low cut skirt. And then enemies in this game, I would say this, are rather strange and unusual, like this, and that trash can. It seems to be very bloodstained. And how this once used to be a school, a very gothic school, because I don't know any schools that happen to have, well, black flooring and, well, black wallpaper. I'm gonna presume that's a wallpaper. And white cauldrons with the bones of the dead in it. It's a very disturbing thought indeed. And there we go, another room cleared. So the whole point is we need to go find the boss and not die along the way. Oh god, it's one of these awful rooms. Now this room in particular is awful. Why? Because we have to dodge everything and try not get hit by these moving paintings. But it's a challenge room and challenge rooms... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Challenge rooms give you an item and I got a original, oh, a original photo album. And there we go, we get a bonus experience now for doing, well, everything. Which is fantastic. <laughs> Let's go and venture on, shall we? Now let's see what we can find, what we can discover. And what is up here? Anyone interesting? Maybe. 
Here's the entrance way, but through this door happens to be some children. I hate this child in particular. Why? Because this child is annoying. Why is he annoying? Because, well, he's blowing bubbles of me, and this person's blowing bubbles of blood. Will Modavian is a git. I don't like him. He's red. He probably ate way too many carrots. Or is either that or he's pretending to be a Native American. It's one of the two. I'm gonna say that he ate too many carrots and is a Native American. But either way, he needs to die. And for that, we get... Juice boxes now do damage to all enemies. Ooh, that's nice. And we also got this little cow down here who's just throwing spikes on the floor. I believe they're jacks, but either way, she's highly demented. And doesn't look like she's actually changed her clothes in ages. Hello, Kojak Jet. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, there's another one. I guess they're breeding. It's rather disturbing. It's rather matured quite quickly. And there we go. We leveled. So, we have... A clockwork orphanage book, or the Zen of the Art of Pummeling. And through that, we become, well, very good at actually sustaining a beating, which is actually rather saddening, if you ask me. And then we have a clockwork orphanage, where we know how to do things quicker. We know how to use clocks. I don't know how that makes you quicker, but either way, we'll go for the attack speed. I don't know if it's 50 life permanent, but I like the attack speed. Offensive is the way to go, even though you really, in this game, should do the exact opposite. Ah! A vending machine! Hello, Mr. Vending Machine. What do you have? You have a juice box, an unsettling concoction, effects next spring, chemistry labs and kitchens are clearly... I have never seen that word before. But we've got a gourmet turtle, which is plus 10 to resist when there's spare items. Ooh, ricocheting shots with Escher's compass and the fedora of crisis. Reduces all damage by 25% when under 25% life. So it's a Reddit hat. Okay. So we shall definitely carry on. I mean, we're not, we don't want to buy anything since we only got one coin. I don't say this now, this game's very, very stingy with its resources. And should not be treated any differently. Why? Because, well, this game is all about survival and endurance. And that is why I've never really gone too far. I mean, it's the first level and I've already got to 60 health. Now, as I said, you can't really regain health too well because this game hates you. And wants you to die horribly in a dark hole. Literally, they will literally throw you in a dark hole in this game. Now, we need to get rid of this trash can. Why? Because this trash can is throwing balls of paper at me. But luckily, with our bonus attack speed, our balls of fire coming from our... I would say our chest or our crotch. Which could be a euphemism for something, but either way, I don't know. Oh, a dragon. Hello, Mr. Clockwork Dragon Thing. I hate this dragon. I hate everything in this game. It's really annoying. <laughs> But this dragon likes while setting fires. As well as, as well as jumping into you. The music in this game is rather dramatic. I mean, you're fighting a giant, well, frothy the dragon, who seems to be a, well, basically someone got a box and a vacuum cleaner and a few kitchen utensils and went to town. Now, Mr. Frothy, you will definitely have to disappear. I mean, if you could combust in a giant ball of fire, that would be great. Now, come on. I need. Oh, no! Bad Frothy! Now, Frothy's. Well, I like to think Frothy is like one of the few bosses that you always will fight on level one. He's a very simple boss, as you can see, and he's perhaps one of the easiest bosses. The only thing that gets harder about him is, uh, well, the more he gets damaged, the more flames that will appear and constantly chase you to the ends of reality. When I mean ends of reality, I mean until you die horribly and go, well, in a giant combustion. I don't know how Frothy was alive or how he became animated by school children, but apparently that's how the game works, and we should never judge the game. If you ever judge the game, the game would judge you. And I mean, it will probably, well, judge you in an unfavorably RNG status. Oh god, no, 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 Cool, that was close. I can't let Froffy bite me, even though he just seems to be floating around, well, saying bye to everything. But either way, we got a lot of experience, and let's get the gem. And by doing the gem, we got a D. Why? Because we took a lot of damage. Well done, I can't see what happens in the first 10 seconds of the next floor. Yay, we completed the first floor. So there we go. Now how do I get out of this? Aha! So, now the unique thing about this game is you need to get to the very top of the school. Now, there's a whole thing about going your own little pathways. Now, as you can see, each one is different, except from this one isn't. So let's see what's so different about these ones. So the characteristics is Brogs and a cafeteria, so everything's sensitive. That's rather interesting, I got the same thing. But anyway, we have a staircase leads to the kitchen floor. These represent the social center of the house, where students gather together to cook, serve each other food. We have a tossing knives at each other to set the table 
or balancing a cauldron of boiling stew. They approach their tasks with an anxiety, energy, or anxious energy, I mean. Shirkers are encouraged to join by their peers as none want to risk time in the well, in one of the ice boxes. The kitchens and perhaps more of one of the areas represent a triumph of Edward's values. The steps are littered with rags and scraps of paper, signs of a brog encampment. I don't know what brog is, I guess those are the you know, well people living in bins. Chunks of banisters are missing and someone's been prying up the nails from the floor. Hunger and desperation have driven away these students to hunt in packs with improvised weapons. Stay away from the shadows and you'll be fine. We assure you that these are some of the friendliest students in Edgeworth. A sign tacked on the wall, due to archaeological irregularities, the inhabitants of the visitors of this floor are all vulnerable to pain. Probably a hoax. So basically we take bonus damage from everything and that's basically the same. It's both Brog's cafeteria and bonus damage to everything. So we can either go to the culinary halls or the Clug Nine dining halls of misfortune. I like that because it's got more words in it. It's definitely things I don't even know what Clug Nine means. Or Clug Game. It's one of the strange words. I don't even know. Right, we leveled up as well by killing Frothy. We can get a bonus movement speed. Ooh, that could be good. Or we could get juice boxes of darkness. The one that flew under the range attack. Oh, the juice boxes. Ah, it continues to clamour to sh for sugar water. It's so apparently devouring a lot of sugar. Well, makes you do bonus damage. Well, this one is, why get out of the way when you can give up and curl into a ball? My god, that's depressing. So we'll go for the darkness one, because it's slightly emo. And less depressing. You think darkness would be a fun time. So let's see what we've got. Oh god, it's you. You need a- oh no. You've got these bloody- Fire things. Can these things blow up? No, they cannot. Right, you. Oh my god, they're everywhere. There's women everywhere on this floor. And you've got long brown hair. My god. You need to stop throwing your spiky balls at me. Okay, I'm gonna die soon. So I need to take one of these potions. Now, did she implode in fire? I hope she did. I don't often say that to many people. I'm like, I hope you imploded in fire. Wow, we did a lot of damage. So what's up here? So I guess everyone did die in a horrible fire. Ah, we got a red trash can. Hello, Mr. Thing. So what's your name? The Canny Corselin. I think it's Corselin, isn't it? What's your name? Cortisan. Ah, the Canny Cortisan. Oh I'm, my god, I just realized I'm gonna die. Can't have that now. That's a face. I peeled off someone's face with fire. Ah, uh, what happened? Well, the teachers left, and so the schools, well, the students kind of went, well, rogue and started trying to kill everyone. And we're one of the few remaining cry children. In fact, we're one of the best chuck. well, can I pick up the face, please? I want to pick up the face without burning to death, please. Aha! We got a better you! One life, and that's an extra life. There's only one we're able to improve our students, and that's by having a cardboard cutout of one, two, three. Apparently. Can't wait, people are talking. So have a fun at your talk. The dark fire will await you. Wow! When you say it we're together, it sounds like it's about him. I guess. I couldn't read the full thing, so I just added a word in there, I think. Yeah, so all those children basically went rogue and started murdering everyone. And we're one of the non so murdery children, as we're happy children. We're happy, fiery, burnable children, that is. Now, I think the tables will implode. I think so. I remember playing this before where the tables exploded on me. And I kind of died horribly by the table. Never trust inanimate objects. They're going to consume you one way or another. Wow, this is a horrible room. My god. Well, I need more flasks. I need more juice boxes. I need more Capri Sun. Now you! Right, you! Yeah, there we go. You kind of died horribly. My god, how the on earth am I meant to get to these bloody f Ah! Go down and here! Ow! Don't hit me! I'm going to have to drink something now. Oh! We got an achievement! We got 50 credits. Ooh, we dive, deal 400 damage from a basic attack. I guess it was a single basic attack. I guess it's because our mighty fire is being improved by, well, juice boxes. By having sugar. Oh god, get away from me. He thinks it's a frog. It's a highly demented child wanting to consume you. Think you're like a pair of nuts or something. Ah, right, we've got another coin. We've got two coins now. Oh no, get away from me. Hello? I guess the damage boost is actually temporary. I guess... Oh, that's the boss room. Do I want to go in the boss room? Can I check my inventory? 
That's the map. Uh, what's the inventory button? What's the controls of this game anyway? I completely forgot. Uh, let's see. We've got law. I can show you the law of the game. Yes, it's a roguelike game. Ah, stats. That's what I want. We have Corey, level 3, 2 gold, 18 life out of 101. We did 1,000 more experience. We've got 200 thing. And we have nearly 100 damage, which is almost 1 damage. An attack rate is nearly 2. And a 5% crit rate. That's nice. I think what we should do is, since I don't think we have enough money to buy any juice boxes, we'll go to the bar. Oh my god, it's Cauldron of Yesterdayus. Hello, you have a lot of projectiles. Now, this is where I will... Yeah, there we go. Match your demise in edge. Oh yeah, I, li I live! I got an extra life, didn't I? I thought I was going to die horribly. My god. Now, where'd he go? Oh god, there's slime everywhere. Slime is annoying. They bounce, and they... <gasps> They're healing the cauldron. No! I will not let the mold heal the boss. That's very interesting to know, actually. So, mold heals bosses. Interesting. So, I need to dodge every single projectile and try not to get hit. If that works, my god, I'll be like the best person in the universe. Kind of not so really. Okay, you need to stop, well, dying horribly, please. Well, I need you to die horribly, I actually mean. I mean, actually, to myself. Oh god, no, no healing! Bad! Bad slime! No slime! You're not allowed to heal your friends. No. Bad. He's probably all already full health, isn't he? No, come on, hit the bloody thing. There we go. Aha! Oh yeah, my mouse is on screen. Thank you for letting me know. A second helping? What? No, there's two of them! I guess I need to kill the second helping, because that is getting ridiculous. Now project out on screen. Okay, I'm dying horribly. Yeah, I died horribly. God damn you, second helping! Right, let's do that again. Right, let's go through. Okay. Let's try not consume all of our flasks on the, on the one beginning... Oh, god damn. Giant spiky ball thing. Why is there a Tesla coil? Seriously, now. Survive for ten seconds. Okay. Can do. I think. No. Bad spiky balls. No. Like sponges. Just someone covered in razor blades. Okay, one, two, three. Ha-ha! <laughs> What do we get for our mighty achievement? For surviving for 15 seconds, we got a mixing thermos. Double juice box count, but reduced by... Well, healing's reduced by 25%. That's horrible. I don't want that. But I probably wish I'd explore. Like we've never explored before. Oh, hello. What do you have? You have a juice box, concoction, a cat's cradle. Fun for two or more people. Or one. For those who lack friends. A fragile roly-poly. It's a termite. And Juicy's Ice Tray. Shatters his enemies when they're destroyed. Ooh. But we'll never be able to use any of that because it requires a lot of actual coins. But before I go into the boss room, let's have a look. Oh god, it's these people. Now, the red version of these people is not a very nice red version. Let's get rid of these people. These people are the worst. Why are they the worst? Well, because the giant crash tans of death and destruction. No one likes bins. They're constantly spitting balls of paper at you. Right now, I like to think I'm doing well. Aside from that one room where I took 15 damage. No, 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 no. There we go. A critical hit. Fantastic. I want your pan. There we go. Everyone's dead. And there's nothing in this room. How saddening. What about in this room? Anyone interesting in here? Hello. Oh, God. It's, it's a red thing. Hello, red thing. How are you doing? Now, will this save me? It will. Aha. I found cover. Now, I need your hat to be taken off, please. No, you're not allowed to hit me. Now, what I'm doing, maybe we got this slight cheese, but, well, to be honest, I don't want to die horribly. Right. Bink! And bink! And bink! And finally, bink! Aha! He dropped something. It looks like a fish. He dropped me a fish. I should really play a fishing game. Be interesting. Like, have a stream just merely about fishing. I'm sure everyone would love it, right? Me talking about fish. And how I hate him. How to devour my family. Right, your hat's taken off. Right, I just need to do one more hit. Aha, we leveled. So we got great expectations of truth boxes. Ooh. Oh. Hell. Oh my god, these are amazing buffs. We have the great expectation of juice boxes. Plus 15 life. And enemies are 50% more likely to drop juice boxes. Tempered, fake, and generally loathsome. Just like the juices we serve them. Wow, okay. A core of wild furniture. 
we deal 10% more damage, but deal 20% more damage against bosses. Wow, that's like amazing. Why would you never want to pick that? Be honest, like, do we want more damage against bosses? 20% is a lot of damage. I mean, the bosses are really hard to kill as they have a lot of health. I think for the time being, what we shall do is go for this. A better child would treat their home with more respect. That's right, children. Respect your furniture. And what does fish do? Attacking also creates bubbles. Terrence the petting fish. Fang, poisonous, and general electric shocks. So basically, we're being electrocuted every time. So we're basically foaming every time we actually fire a giant ball of fire at someone. That's actually really disturbing. Why is there an electric eel? This is why we don't like fish. Right, let's just constantly try to kill these trash cans and hope they drop me a coin. Dropping coins would be wonderful. Also, the perfect thing about these bubbles is... No, okay, it's an absolute lie. I was going to say these bubbles protect you against all sorts of bully goodness. But they don't. They don't protect you from anything. Ooh, a coin! I'll take that. Yoink! Mine now. Right, let's go to the boss now. And then we're going to be done with level one! Out of I don't know how many. I don't know anything about this game, really. I'm just really bad at it. Oh god, it's giant spiky balls of death. And there's also that. Wait, who am I fighting? Froffy, once again. Yes, I think Froffy's one of those definite things that you fight. Now, Froffy, would you like bubbles? I think everyone likes bubbles, Froffy. No, Froffy, bad. No charging or fire. You're not allowed to charge at me. Which is not very nice. Okay, you need to stop what you're doing as soon as humanly possible. That would be great. Right, Froffy. No. Oh, oh managed to dodge just in time. Now, the great thing about these bubbles is that they're doing a constant damage. They're doing a 14 damage of a constant basis, which is a lovely thing. It's constant DPS. Whoop! Aha! Dodging fire like it's a giant towering inferno. I said, I don't know how a, garbage, a cardboard box and a vacuum cleaner is managing to create fire. Also, I did not actually pay attention to any of that fire spawning right there. But I can tell you this. The bubbles are helping against this boss. Let's see if we can kill it from a bubble. Okay. Bubble? No. Okay, so, okay, we maybe not want to use the bubbles. Aha! It's dead anyway. Brilliant! And we consume that. We only got a B! Brilliant! Boorish. Perhaps I mean boring. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, so this time... Okay, so we've got different places. So we have a cafeteria that's papery. So it, it all says the same, so I guess it's all cafeteria and brocks. So by going this way, we have a, a better reward. What the reward is, I have no bloody idea. So let's see what the difference is. The difference is at the bottom of the thing. So graffiti on the walls look more sullen than usual. This floor lacks authority figures. We expect the ranks and file to be weaker. I don't know how it's a bad thing. This appears this floor suffers from incremental rever. Edge of an dispensary device is frilled. So what does that mean? Now, we have to kind of guess and understand what they mean because the Edgewood, well, the plenty of advisory of inclement rever. Does it mean... Oh, does that mean there's like um, a fire going on, or is it like uh, water spraying down from the ceiling that will melt you if you go near it? Why well, I'm, I'm going to go this way because it gives me a better reward. It's leaderless. I don't know if it means if it's like there's no boss or if it's just no elite creatures. I'm just going to presume there's no elite creatures. That's why it's kind of like you don't get any bonus stuff from doing this level. So yeah. Oh god, it's Bubble Man. Hello, Bubble Man. My bubbles are better than yours. Yes, you. You understand what I mean. Don't you dare blow your bubbles at me. There we go. Everything's bubble free now. Aside from me. He's constantly being foamed from the mouth. I wonder why we've kind of got bubbles while we're foaming. I mean, do we eat soap? I mean, it's rather disturbing if we eat soap. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, who here really wants to eat soap on a daily basis? Unless you, your fetish is eating soap. I mean, if so, I mean, I kind of feel sorry for your family. Because they're most likely don't have an elite, well, soap to clean their hands with. Because you're too busy eating it or sticking it places where we don't want to mention. Right, you need to stop with the constant fire and the giant spiky balls of not very niceness. Right, you, you, okay. We need to deal with those trash cans, but without being burnt alive. Right, you, you lady, you need to disappear. Can you disappear for me? Thank you. Thank God they just disappear in a puff of smoke. It's not like they're screaming in agony or anything. Remember the fu- Oh, there's another one. Or are you the same woman? I don't know if you're the same woman or not. I got hit by a ball. Not very good, is it? Right, you, you need to kind of disappear. If you can disappear, that'd be great. Now, where'd she go? Did she get consumed by fire? No, she's down here. You can't escape me forever. You know, screw you. I don't care about these spiky balls. I care about these bins. 
and people living in the bins. God, God, yes. And bink! Brilliant. Now, did she die horribly? She did die horribly! Ha ha! Brilliant! That's what I wanted. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. If we damage that thing, it'll make a boom. And there we go. It's very horrible. Especially when you get bubbled. Let's drink. 15 health. My God, that's horrible. Yeah, so there seems to be no elites on this floor. Now, lady, can you not carry on throwing your bloody spikes everywhere? No one likes them. And most likely no one wants to play blackjack with you. Because you're most likely throwing spikes on the table instead of cards. Could you imagine that? A dealer just throwing loads of, well, spikes on a table instead of, like, throwing cards at people. It's like, ha-ha, you... Oh, God, I thought I died then. <laughs> Alright. So, we can get bonus attack speed or bonus damage. So we get the clockwork thing again, or the perk of being a ranged willpower. Stay close to the walls and try and blend in, and maybe you won't be eaten by children so quickly. You know, it's a very tough choice, but I'm going to go with damage. Why? Because, well... We got attack speed, and I want to drink that, so we drunk two so far, and how much money do we actually have? It's C, isn't it? Yes. We have four coins. No. Ah, hello! Do you have a discount on juice boxes? No, you do not. You have a cookie of discipline. Ooh, instantly level up on next floor. Oh my god, that's amazing. Horn beef steak. Heals for 20% of total HP after every floor. My god, that is so useful. I love it. But what's this? Increased credit gain by... 300%. What's credit gain? Is that money? I don't know. But either way, we can't afford any of it. We can't even afford a, well, a juice box. We have a chalk, but I don't know what chalk does. I think it like, protects you from uh, projectiles. Survive for this amount of time. Very well, I shall try. Now you will not be able to catch me. Fire and flames of not so happy glory. Okay, I just need to survive for a few more seconds. One. Two and pink! Aha! All the fire just evaporates like that. And what do I get? Oh god, the fire's gonna consume me. No! Fire! Bad! Okay, fire. Come over here. There we go. I want the umbrella. I want the umbrella. Give me the- Okay, there's fire surrounding an umbrella. I'm surprised the umbrella's not melting. Okay. Aha! What is it? Give me! Give me! Aha! Attacks may create fire waves. Oh, cool! That's amazing. I like that. That's kind of cool looking. So where is the exit to this? Oh god, there's people! Children! Burn! Why is the fire blue? I don't know, I guess it's because we're foaming at the mouth. I have a way- Oh god, it's you! I don't like this boss. Because Susie, or Sudsy the Inanimate, is an ice boss. Now luckily, we have the power bubbles. But Susie... Susie has many things under her- Well, it is. I don't know why it's a f well, uh, obsession with lizards. Now, we need to kind of burn it fire, because something like this should not exist in the school. Why does a giant floating dragon of boxes and, well, unhappiness is beyond me? But come on, Susie, you need... Okay, hide! Behind here. There we go. Thank God these things are spawn. I mean, if they didn't spawn, what would we do? Probably cry horribly. What are you doing, Susie? Oh, God, a boy absolutely hit me just then. Luckily, the bonus damage against bosses is helping dramatically. Don't you see Susie's almost dead? Or Sudsy? I keep wanting to say Susie, but there's no Z or his extra S. There he is, okay. Well, no, don't get hit by that. There we go. Now, you're almost dead. I just need you to kind of burn alive, please. Oh, God. Hi, behind now. What an expert roll, if I may say so myself. Ha ha! Now, come on. Just. Ca there we go. Brilliant. Now, we should level from this. We're going to see. Allowing to continue would be cruel. And that's how comes you allow me to do it. So, we got six credits. What is credits? I have no idea. Oh, great. We have three directions we can go. Right, so let's have a look here. In the Rispid Kitchens, box no, so that's just a generic one. So that's an empty level. Nothing unusual, nothing special about it. So this one's gluttonous. The streaks and yammings up ahead suggest the inhabitants have discovered and pillaged one of the secret juice box cabinets. So what does that mean? Does that mean that they are healthier, that they're deadlier? And then we have underlit. Light doesn't travel well on this floor. No! That, I'm going to tell you this now, you do not want to pick that, ever, because that's imma demise. Right, so what do we want to do? Do you want to go gluttonous or basic? You know what? I'm curious about what gluttonous means, so we shall do this. The cat's out kitchen of awesome. Right, so what's special about this? Hello. I don't often see you down here, do I? Oh god, there's a red trash can. Whoop! 
This reminds me of a binding of Isaac um, room setup. As she does. Oh god, this is gonna be absolutely awful. Right, I need to. Oh, here, here. no! Bah! Don't do that. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, I'm not hitting fun. Okay, there we go. No, you're not burning. Why are you burning? Burn faster, please, for the love of God! Right, take off your bloody hat. Okay. The clankers count. Aha! The his hat disappeared then. <laughs> stop it! I need you. Don't, don't stop. Okay. Ah. You gonna burn yet? No, no burning, no burning yet. Okay, whoop. Aha, he dropped a cock. 30% slow in here, enemies are slowed and take damage over time. Ooh, these gears are taken from the elevator when they actually worked. Oh, bink. Wow, okay. Oh, they take damage over time. Oh, that's cool. Wow, okay. That is an amazing thing. Stop it. Can you just stop that? Now burn. Burn like you've never burned before! Okay, there we go. Aha! Juice box! I guess I drop juice boxes more regularly. That's kind of cool. Right, you need to stop that. Go on. Yeah, no. Okay, you. Stop it. Aha! Wait a second, I need to quickly check something. One second. Alright, sorry about that. I just need to check something off screen. It'd be nice if I actually clicked back in the game. There we go. Right. Let's take this juice box. And there we go. We've got now five out of six. I wish I had some way to upgrade the healing once again. Oh god, this room is horrible. Every room is horrible. Let's not lie about it. Wow, everyone seems to be dropping these uh, juice boxes. I guess what's so special about the floor. So there's a guest... A, a, a recuperating floor. I had trouble saying that. Bink! Oh, coins! Hello! Yoink! Let's drink one of those. There we go. The humming drink. Hello, another coin! Ooh! Thank God we have the bonus capacity of these drinks. But you need a stake. There we go. Burn alive. Uh, this damage over time thing would be brilliant against bosses. It is. So we can either go towards the boss now or carry on exploring. I say carry on exploring. Why not? Hello, how are you doing? That's one gone. And then I want to get rid of you. Thank God I'm just coming across bubble people because my uh, bubbles are far superior than their bubbles because I can get rid of their bubbles with my bubbles. It's like bubbleception. Ooze, no, bad. Last time I had ooze, they kind of pounced on me. It wasn't very nice. Ooh, a vending machine. I thought you were evil just then. So let's see what can I get. Ray's general anxiety. We think he would be happy to know that his everlasting contributor to future student research. Plus six percent dodge. I don't know what dodge does. I guess it's a percentage of not being hit. I mean, why not? I mean, we could get a fifteen percent uh, XP boost if we get. No, we're never gonna get free coins. Let's be honest. Let's just get that. There we go. So now we got some dodge, which is nice. Never had dodge in this game. It's very rare to get a hold of, so I'm not one to decline it. Oh, hello. You seem to be very fast in your feet all of a sudden. I need to be careful not hitting any of those. What would you call them? Those generators. Because, as you can see, the generators are not so fun. I also need to be careful of my bubble placement. Even though I can't control the bubbles. Actually, the bubbles are actually kind of helping me. It devoured that woman with a giant, well, earthquake. Okay, I need you to stop throwing a dairy. Go. And anything special in this room? I don't know. Nope, nothing special. Such a shame. Such a, such a shame. Right, let's keep going. Up we go. Oh no, it's you! I hate you so much! I've never once defeated this boss. Why? Because he makes the whole entire room dark. And it's, and it's almost impossible to dodge everything, because it's like, as you can see, the floor itself has got loads of spikes, and you can't see it, so you have to be in range to do everything. But thank god we're able to slow it. Shame we can't slow its projectile usage. If I can defeat it, that'd be wonderful. I'll take another drink. Oh my god, it's almost dead. This damage of a time thing is beautiful. Oh, and it's dead! Ha ha! Brilliant! And, oh, I did not mean to clap. Okay, we have completed the floor. I did actually mean to leave. Oh, what's this? Hello? Wound Fort Fortress. It's a dormitory. The staircase leads to a dormitory floor. Edward is the home 
as well as a school. While accommodations may seem spartan, each student has abundance of space to rest and socialize. Machado has been made about a furniture rearranging itself in the night, thumps and hisses emanating from the closets, spectral hands creeping from the floor, and so on forth. Such stories are testaments to the charming, though somewhat the derivative imagination of our students. The threatening drawings on the landing above look rather decent, as do the sporty, uh, the, as do the poorly spelled messages carved into the steps. Are those uh, shards of bones scattered across the wood? No, surely not. Despite the reputation, we're sure that you'll find the rune sports gentle and generous hosts, providing they don't hear, see, or smell you. A pair of huge feet have left deep indentations in the floor. You note that someone has casually ripped the stone banister from its mooring. There's something doubtful with which classmate lives on this floor. Oh, I guess it's one of the few bosses of the actual thing, I guess. I guess it is. I'm just gonna take a quick drink. Hmm. Give me a second, I need to uh, look at something. Okay, sorry about that. I just needed to actually look at something and I was unsure if it would actually appear or not. So let me just uh, continue having my drink and we shall continue with the next floor. Right. That's a nice thing. So I'm guessing that this is a sort of a boss type thing. So let's go forth. So, we leveled up. So what do we get? We can get enemies that try slowly to drop tokens. I'm guessing that's money. Oh, why would you ever want that? No! We will never go in a jungle gym and lose 20% base movement speed. Weeding is easier chore to stop complaining. We're gonna go with this one. There we go. Right, so let's continue. We only got one health thing. Bit saddening, really. Oh, God, it's chair ladies. I don't like chair ladies. Chair ladies are not nice ladies. But luckily, we've got the got the, uh, the flaming cog of wonder. All right, you need to start well dying of slow and uh, ever so lovely damage over time. Okay, there's hands in the floor. They weren't joking. That man is chasing me. Who are you? Oh, you're a duster. The Hudson duster. Can we kill the hands? No, we cannot kill the hands. It's rather a big shame that we can't murder all the lovely, lovely hands of- Okay, these hands are getting really annoying. Okay, I don't like hands coming out the floor. You need to stop with your bloody clouds. And you drop something. It looks like a- Looks like a cast or a hand. Cloud, can you stop following me, please? Thank you. Whoop. We got a sock snake. Plus one shot. We're not oh, we're not moving. That's kind of nice. Oh god, there's people here. I don't like people. People are not. Oh no! No, no! Bang! Stop it! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Aha! And we've got another health thing. Let's quickly consume that. Right, we need to Can we have enough. We don't have enough brains to kill this man. There we go. Now we do. There's just one more of these beastly men that lives down here. Hello? Goodbye? Now, what about up here? Hello? A ah, hand! There's bloody hands everywhere! God damn, what are we gonna do with his hands? Constantly grunting and grope me! Look, I'm, I'm maybe a, 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 a chair lady! Oh, God. Stop it! Look, you're maybe abnormally tall, but it does not give an excuse to throw your chairs at me. My God. Oh! You need to stop that. Especially you, duster man! There we go, he's gone. Should we go to the boss room? Sure. What's the worst that could happen? What the hell is this place? Hello? I'm... Killing housing. Oh! Right! So it's like, uh... This is interesting. Whoa! Hello, big man! I didn't expect to meet someone as big as you here. Okay, let's just, just dive roll constantly. I just hope, just hope it won't decide to be like, oh hey, we're no longer your friends now. No, 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 oh, what? I guess it's like the equivalent of Mother on Binding of Isaac and I think I'm gonna die now. Oh. 
Oh, it's almost dead. It is literally almost dead. Oh, come on, just a slight bit sooner. Come on. Oh no, I died horribly. Such a shame. I almost killed that boss too. And I think after showing that, I think for now I should call it there for darker purpose and move on to another game. In fact, Legend of Grimrock. So if you enjoyed this, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'll probably stream it another day. The word is hopefully, maybe, is a possibility. So I might come back to it later. I might. So either way, that's that.